India can feed across the globe. We have that much of potential of this technology. Root, yeah. Oh, beautiful. I've never touched the root before for some reason. <laughs> what happens to the farmers then? Because now everybody becomes a farmer. India will awake to life and freedom. When you think cricket, you think Sachin Tendulkar. When you think football, you think of Lionel Messi. When you think of traffic, Bangalore is a cliche. No, Garden City has become Pardon City because the water table since 1997 has shrunk drastically. And at the rate at which we are going, we might just run out of food and water. But today, I have a solution which I think is absolutely wonderful. Let me introduce you to Bully's Farming. small small clusters and make it viable yeah. every home we are envisioning rooftop farm yeah. every rooftop in future have to be a farm so like essentially my apartment then i have a farm so sharma aunty is picking tomatoes balla uncle is picking potatoes exactly, exactly. so everybody is becoming self sufficient water is mixed with nutrients and directly sprayed on the roots in their enclosed chambers 24/7 All of this is regulated and surveilled. What is the complete solution that Wooly Farming brings to the table? Wooly is a social enterprise. Okay. Right? We are focusing on building better society and better planet. Basically, in developing countries, around two lakh people dies each year due to pesticide poisoning. So, growing own food is the one of the best solution to get fresh food and without disturbing the nature. Right. So, we want to distribute the capex to multiple like small small clusters and make it viable. Unlike regular farming, aeroponic farming is not dependent on the climate cycle, which essentially means the yield can be twelve times that of regular farming. So Nitin how is this technology going to change farming in India So we are mainly focusing on two technologies basically one is distributed ledger and predictive analytics just went above the head but continue So distributed ledger we are tracking all the data coming in the farms like a network database and yeah. predictive analytics we are using for growth analytics in the platform what we are collecting is uh, the thermal cameras we have and 24 bars when we are taking the data out from the plant farms like based on the color change we can identify what's the nutrition deficiency in the roots plants uh, show the nutrition deficiency everything based on the color so uh, what you do is essentially you are tracking the plant you're like stalking the plant yep every and uh, helping the grower in their community what to do in the farm so mother nature is being watched by mother server believe this or not aeroponic farming gives us 5 to 20 times the yield of normal farming if a crop normally takes 90 to 120 days aeroponic farming will do it in 70 days say there's someone like me who's watching this right now uh and he just wants to understand woolly's farming if you have a terrace you can install uh, woolly farms on your rooftop and if you don't have a terrace you can install our kitchen garden in your balconies or kitchen right and uh, yeah you can eat fresh vegetable oh wow so good man Yeah. So this is a mini farm. Like growing in this unit is really difficult because in yeah. balconies we don't get that much of light. Yeah. So we grow plants in rooftops. So you have a set list of plants. Then okay. you can order it. Yeah. It's a live lettuce, live yeah. plants. Yeah. Uh, we grow in our rooftops. Wow. And we deliver you uh, like this with a pot with nutrition water inside. 
So this is the root. Root, yeah. Oh, beautiful. I've never touched a root before for some reason. Okay. So, and yeah. you can keep in this unit uh, for more one more week. Yeah. And you can whenever you need, you can pluck it and just eat, eat it. it. Yeah, pluck it and eat. So I can't stop at the same time because of one thing. Okay. So you can order our plants like whatever growing in your area. Do I call you? Can order oh, you have an app. The guys will come in our farms and harvest and deliver you. Farm to fork, the time of delivery is only five hours. That's about it? That's about it. Wow. That freshness you won't get in anywhere in India. So what about the water? It's around uh, 15 percentage of water only. Like okay. in traditional agriculture, it's around, uh, if it is 100 percentage. Yeah. In our system, it's only 15 percentage. If conventional farming uses 100,000 liters of water, Aeroponic farming uses only 6,000, which is incredible because at some point we may run out of water. Now everybody is doing 100 years back farming. Yeah. It's not sustainable and the water quality is really bad. Like you can't use those water because it's have really bad heavy metals, pesticides. Industrial waste and untreated sewage have rendered 50% of Bengaluru's groundwater to be unfit. So, what is the future? Are we all becoming farmers or what? So, we have good sunlight and if we can adopt India as a whole, we can adopt control animal farming. India can feed across the globe. We have wow. that much of potential of this technology. So, city land the methods new but the tools are still useful this is the greatest vegetable party I've ever had no sickles no plows no bulls just you your terrace and bully farming think about it this could be the healthy future. Farmville is a thing of the past. Home farming is the future. Catch a new episode of the Tech Probe exclusively on the India Times Facebook page. Don't forget to like, comment and share.